Hello, it's me, Brendan Burns, aka your Rad Roofman from YouTube, and I'm gonna be doing another wrestling DVD review. Came out in 2009. It's a documentary about the the rise and fall of WCW World Championship Wrestling. It includes some cool matches too. Ric Flair vs. Vicky the Dragon Steamboat, The Rock and Roll Split, The Rock and Roll Express vs. The Midnight Express, WCW World Tag Team Championship Match, The Steiner Brothers vs. Lake Freedom Steam, WCW International World Heavyweight Championship Match, Rick Rude vs. Steam, WCW World Heavyweight Championship Match, Ric Flair vs. Hulk Hogan Bash at the Beach, Fall Brawl World Games 1998, Team WCW, no, it's 1975. Team WCW Steam. No, it's not 96. I'm sorry. I get, I get out of the field. Like, what the? Anyway. War Games match. Team WCW Steam Lake Super, Ric Flair, and Arn Anderson versus Team NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, Scott Howard, and a mystery partner. Diamond Dallas Page and Carl Malone versus Hollywood Hogan and Dennis Robin. Goldberg, Goldberg versus Diamond Dallas Page and many more. I'm going to tell you about the matches more. This is about the documentary about the rise and fall of the NWA. First, it was Jim Crockett Promotions, no Natural Rational Alliance. I might, I might get confused. Maybe I might get, get it confused. Jim Crockett Promotions, NWA, then Ted Turner bought it. It was World Championship Wrestling, and we named it WCW. And then Eric Bischoff, he made Eric, Eric Bischoff the president. He brought in Hulk Hogan from the World Wrestling Federation. Macho Man Randy Savage and a lot more. Then they brought in Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and formed the NWO, made Hulk Hogan turn heel. And they were starting to do good, then it went down. They weren't getting new, new superstar breaks. Vince Russo came in and it went. I mean, it was more than meets the eye. There were more stories of backstage politics, why it went down. But that, that's just mostly about what the documentary, the documentary is about. And uh, hold on. Remember, I told you some of the matches on there. Let's see if I have the booklet about all the matches, maybe. But here's the booklet. I still have the booklet for some reason. I don't know why. But here's some special features The Lost in Cleveland, that documentary about a. No, what was it? Yeah. So how Dusty Rhodes was doing something with WCW storyline with Cat Jack, and they want. And they didn't like it. Uh, you have to watch it to get it. Bill Watts defends himself about that racist comment about the summer I forget. Spam Man, they were going to have a wrestler named Spam Man, and they got Scrap. The Origin of Goldberg. Get the Origin or, of Goldberg. Bischoff gives away raw results. Oh, I remember that. You know, you know he matches. That was pretty cool. First match, we get the NWA World, World Heavyweight Championship match. One thousand dollars on the on the line. Ric Flair versus Megan T. A. In the main event starring Steve, Lake Luger, and Barry Women versus Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, and Tony Blanchard with J.J. Dillon. The Great American Bash. The American Dream. Dusty Rhodes versus Barry Women. Women. Chicago Town Rumble. N.W.A. World Heavyweight Championship match. Ric Ric Flair versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Wrestle War. Wrestle War. The Rock and Roll Express versus the Midnight Express. The Great American Bash NWA United States Ta United States Tag Team Championship match. The Midnight Express versus the Southern Boys. Never heard of the Southern Boys. I gotta look them up. Super Brawl WCW World Tag Team World Tag Team Championship match. The Steiner versus. <laughs> Shut oh man, I talk too damn fast. <laughs> the Steiner Brothers versus Steen and Lex Luger. The Great American Bash, 92. Steam vs. Big Bang Vader. WCW World, World Heavyweight Championship match was on the line. Spring Stampede. WCW Inter no, International World Heavyweight Championship match. Between Rick Rue and Steam. Bash at the Beach. Rick Flair vs. Hulk Hogan for the World Heavyweight Championship match. When Hulk Hogan made his comeback. On Monday Night Nitro, Ric Flair vs. The Giant for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship match. This was recently when Ric Flair won that Super Bowl against uh, 
the Macho Man Randy Savage, I think, because I remember they during that match they still had Randy Savage's name on the world world belt. Clash of the Champions, August nineteen ninety six, WCW Cruiserweight Championship match, Rey Mysterio Jr. versus Dean Malenko. Foul Brawl War Games. Team WCW Steam Lake Silver and Ric Flair. No, and Arn Anderson versus Team NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and a mystery partner. I'm going to let you guess what the mystery partner was. A lot of WCW fans know what I'm talking about, but NWO sold out. NWO had their own pay per view. Pay per view. Six versus Eddie Galeno. Uncensored, no disqualification match for the United States Championship. United States, United States Championship. Gotta get, make sure I get this right. Eddie Guerrero versus Dean Malico. Super Brawl, 98. Chris Jericho versus Hubertu Guerrero. Cruiserweight Championship match. It doesn't say here, but it was it was for the Cruiserweight Championship match because it was a mass match. If Guerrero lost the match, he would have to unmask himself for the world, world which he lost. And sorry to swallow, to swallow that. Super Brawl, 98. The Steiner Brothers versus The Outsiders. Something happened during that match, but I'm not going to say it. It was for the WCW United Beautiful Unfilled World Tag Team Championship match. Something happened between that match. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to let you guess that one. Watch that one for yourself. Bash at the Beach. Diamond Dallas Page and Carl Malone versus Hollywood Hogan and Dennis Robin. Oh boy. Halloween Havoc, 98. WCW World Heavyweight Championship match, Goldberg versus DDP. And I know a lot of people didn't saw that match because if the pay per view was too long, they had to cut it or something. And most people, before they cut it, they, they showed that match between Hollywood Hogan and the Ultimate War, Warrior, which was awful. I remember that. And this great match between DDP and Goldberg, Goldberg was cut. They showed it the next night on Nitro. It was beginning to be the downfall of WCW. Nitro in 2000. This one nobody was watching it. Well, some people were still watching it, but this was a good match. But, you know, WCW was about to be out of business. Business anyway. WCW World Heavyweight Championship match. World Heavyweight Championship match. Booker T versus Lance Storm. And they had some funny during this match. Not when, yeah, when Jeff Jarrett came out, but, uh, Remember the late Mike Awesome and he was that 70s guy and then he became a fat chick fella. Had his fat girlfriend over there eating those ham sandwiches. And Jeff Jarrett just, you know, hits her with a guitar. That's just funny. That's mean and funny at the same time. But well, WWF does that, did that stuff back then too. But when WWF, they got away with it. WCW was like hypocrite, 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 for them or, you know, something like that. Anyway, that's the rise and fall with WCW. It has great. Interviews by Hulk Hogan, Eric Bischoff, JR, and all of them. The Rise and Fall of WCW, please, uh, sorry, please check this out. The Rise and Fall of WCW, World Championship Match. Remember this slogan, but this is where the big boys play. Uh. I'm about to end this review now and please subscribe to my channel. I need more subscribers. I just need more sub 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 subscribers. Please subscribe to my channel. That's uh check out the Rise and Fall World Championship Wrestling. They also have the Rise and Fall of ECW, but I don't own ECW. Maybe I should get that. That's a good DVD too. Anyway, see you later, alligator.